let's uncover the mystery of what I'm going to be reading in August. <laughs> so cheesy. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of TBR Glitter! This is my TBR game, if you don't know, inspired by Super Cluedo. Uh, we have all the different rooms, but they are genre themed. I'll link the full playlist down below where in the first video you can go through all the rules. But essentially, it picks six books that I read as a prompts and genre rooms is essentially the idea. I don't have an explanation for you and you may not get one. How are we all doing? I am so excited for August. August, I have some of the most exciting videos coming, some of the most exciting reading coming. I literally can't wait. Like, I literally can't be contained. Today, we're gonna to be seeing how kind TBR Kudo was in allowing me to fit in what I was already excited to read in August or whether I'm having to read other stuff entirely. We're gonna find out together. And yeah, I'm just very excited for August. I feel like we're on an upswing. I feel like life is great. Let's all be positive. You know, life's great. So I think that's all I have to say to you. Let's just get straight into the rolls. I'm really, really excited for this month. Okay, time for roll one. Person number five, which is white over here in magical realism. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a four and a three. I'm just gonna go one, two, three. That is number 12, which is a favorite author. That's gonna be tricky. Roll one was in the magical realism room, which I can also read like fabulism, anything kind of along those lines. And the prompt was a favorite author. And I have picked Switch by A.S. King. <laughs> this is one of the releases that came out last year that I have just been so excited to read. I can't believe it took me this long to get round to. A.S. King is one of my favorite authors. Dig and Please Ignore Vera Deeds are some of my favorite kind of fabulism -y books that I've ever read. I am just so excited to get to this. I literally can't wait. So time has stopped. Our kind of protagonist lives in a house with a switch that no one ever touches, a switch her father protects every day by nailing it into hundreds of progressively larger boxes. But she's got a crowbar and one way or another she's going to see what happens when she flips the switch. It's crazy. It's crazy. I think this is crazy. No. It's told in a lot of like really short, you can't really see like really short sex with these kind of uh, headers to it. And here's the thing, I've said this before, A.S. King, I either give five stars or 2.5. This is gonna be one of them. Like this is gonna be, uh, there's literally no in between. <laughs> I know with A.S. King, I either love or don't really like her books. So mm, it's, I will just say, the video I'm reading this for this month, it is funny that I got this prompt. I will just say that. I will just say that, it's funny that I got this prompt. I'm very excited to go into the mind of A.S. King, <laughs> just the craziness that is A.S. King's mind. And I always have a fun time reading her books, even if I don't like them. They're just they're just something different, something interesting. So I'm very excited to read this this month. Roll number two, person number three, which is red over here in historical. Let's see how many we roll. Okay, we've got a six and a three. Can I get into mystery with that? We've got quite a few mysteries I would like to read. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. That is number 16, which is a book with four or more words in the title. Next is a mystery, and you just heard the prompt, but I haven't <laughs> written it down. I knew what book I wanted to read straight away for it. Is it four or more words in the title? I'm pretty sure it was. Okay, you're gonna scream. Are you ready to scream? Are you ready to scream? Are you ready to scream? <laughs> the book that I'm reading for this prompt, The Man Who Died Twice by Richard Asin! I... I'm so excited to reading this. If you watched some of my videos, you'll probably know that Thursday Murder Club was one of my favorite books I read last year. And I just can't wait to read this. I've been waiting for the perfect time and the perfect time is now. And I'm just so excited. So this is a murder mystery series following this group of friends who live at a retirement village. And every Thursday they had a murder club where they would try to solve cold cases. That was kind of their, their hobby. But then a murder happens on their doorstep. It's kind of like main 
mainstream cozy mysteries. I wouldn't say it's like a pure cozy mystery, do you know what I mean? Like something like the Lady Hardcastle mysteries, which I love, are. But it's got this coziness and this quaintness and this uniqueness to it that I really love. I loved the writing. Usually I'm quite against celebrities, you know, becoming mainstream authors and taking over the book chart, a la David Ralliams. Like, I don't really like it, but I will make an exception for Richard Osman. <laughs> Usually I'm quite against, you know, celebrities getting these massive advances when authors, other authors are struggling, but I really feel like Richard Osman can write and can write really well. He's the kind of person that I thought would always kind of want to write a book and I just loved the first one so much and so many people have said this one is so much better, it made them cry. The first one made me cry. So if this one made everyone else cry, what is awaiting me? <laughs> I'm really nervous. I'm not gonna cry. Okay, what happened? Maybe I'll cry. This is one of my most anticipated books to read. I am just so excited. And yeah, I'm finally gonna be reading it. I'm actually reading this next after I finish my current read and I just can't wait. Okay, next roll. Oh, number six, which is yellow here in Thriller. Let's see how many we roll. Whoa, <laughs> shit. <laughs> we got a one and a six. Not the destruction that that just reaped. Let's just go one, <laughs> which is number four, which is a book that I bought because of a booktuber. Roll three was a thriller I bought because of another booktuber and this is a round that I gave to my patrons to vote on. So if you don't know, my patrons get to vote on one round of TBR Cluedo every month and then that book becomes our book club pick, which we have a live show for and I do an exclusive reading vlog over there for. So the options were Sleep by C.L. Taylor, which was my vote. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very excited to read this. I bought this because of Mara from Books Like Woe. Never Saw Me Coming by Vera Courier. I bought this I think because of Mara as well I heard good things The Whisper Man by Alex North which I feel like I can't find my copy of it it's somewhere back there but <laughs> um, I feel like not a lot of people ended up liking this but I bought it because a lot of booktubers hauled it I think like Kayla and Chandler and then Final Girls by Riley Sager I would say I just bought because of like wider booktube <laughs> love for Riley Sager um, but people like Gabby I think has read it oh she liked it I can't remember but I just you know you hear people talk about it a lot so you get it and the vote was super close. It kept changing. I think Crystal, one of my pictures, actually commented like, this poll is giving me anxiety because every time I come back, it's different. Like the poll kept going up and down. But the one that ended up winning the vote was Final Girls by Riley Sager. I'm very excited. This is my final backlist. Final. <laughs> this is my last backlist Riley Sager that I have to read. Why did Whoopi Goldberg blurb this? She said it was fantastic. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting that. Yeah, this is my last backlist Riley Sager, so I'm very excited to get to it. After this, I'll only have his new release, House Across the Lake, which I haven't read. I'm so excited to read this, everyone. I feel like we're gonna get some really fun discussions, some really interesting discussions. So yeah, this will be our book club pick. Oh, the font is much smaller than I expected. So yeah, if you wanna come join us, come join my Patreon, come read this with us. There'll be an exclusive reading vlog of me reading this over there and the discussion live show, which is always so much fun. I sometimes get some of my patrons to come onto the live as guests and we have like a really good discussion. So yes, very, very excited to read this for the book club. Next one, roll four. Person number five, which is white over here. Let's see how many we roll. Whoa. <laughs> A three and a five. Okay, I think I'm gonna go into fantasy. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is number two, which is a series I'm part way through. Next was a fantasy that is part of a series that I'm part way through. This is probably, I'm, I'm very nervous. I've been putting this book off for a long time. I actually can't believe I'm finally reading this. We're gonna be reading The Dragon Republic by Eye of Quang. Yes, yes we are. <laughs> This is a reason to celebrate. So I read Poppy, Poppy War probably, was it in 2020? It was in 2020. I read the Poppy War in 2020. And then I've been putting off finishing the series. My dad has read the whole series. He loved it. And it's time. It's time. Now they're very long. I am a bit nervous about that, but I feel like they're the kind of books you read really fast. The only thing is I don't like, I don't know why, I don't like the audiobook narrator for these. I don't have anything against her, but I'm listening to the audiobook narrator. I don't dislike her. But then I've gone back and I look back at all the books I've read that she narrated and I rated them low. So I don't know what's going on there. So I can't listen to the audiobook to help it make it quicker for me. Yeah, I am, you know, excited to be back with Rin. Obviously a lot of you all know the Poppy Wars, this Asian inspired 
wild fantasy where it's set during a war. I forget what's a spoiler and what's not. Rin is very morally grey as a character and I'm just so excited to see where the series goes. And obviously Babel is coming out by IF Kuang I think in September. I have it pre-ordered. I'm very excited. So I'd be really happy if I can finish her other books and then get to Babel. Okay, roll number five. Person number one. Let's see how many we roll. A one and a three. Okay, so I can't go very far. So let's just go one, two, three, which is number 26, which is a book I've been scared to read. Roll five was a fantasy, another fantasy that I've been scared to read. Dragon Republic could have worked for that as well, but I'm going to be going with King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. I told you, I'm reading some heavy hitters in August. I'm so, this is making me so excited. Isn't life great, you guys? Isn't life great? Isn't are we blessed? <laughs> I've been scared to read this because I loved Six of Crows on Crooked Kingdom so much. I really did. I gave them, I think, a 4.5 and a 5 star. I really enjoyed them. I've been scared to continue because I don't want this to be Shadow and Bone Siege and Storm Rune and Rising vibes. I want it to be Six of Crows Crooked Kingdom vibes and I'm scared as to which direction it's gonna go in. Yeah, I'm scared that... I don't know, like the Grishaverse, I'm scared to enter it again. But I am excited. This is another, obviously, a duology that I'm starting, so I will have to try and finish it um, this year, hopefully. But yeah, I'm excited to be back with these characters, but I'm scared because they are majority of the characters from, I think, Shadow and Bone trilogy versus Six of Crows. I think it's Zoya, Nikolai, and Nina. So obviously one from Six of Crows, two from Shadow and Bone. I'm scared, but hopefully I am going to enjoy it and love it. And... Fingers crossed, everyone pray for me. <laughs> okay, final roll. Person number six, which is yellow again, over here. Let's see how many we roll. Oh my God. <laughs> a two and a three. Uh, let's just go one, two, three, which is number 22, which is a book which has a title with three words in the title. And then our final role was a thriller with three words on the title, and I just need everyone to take a moment, okay? Are we all ready? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I'm gonna be finally reading I'm the Girl by Courtney Summers. This is an arc I have of it. It comes out in September, I think, towards like the end of September, and I'm finally gonna be reading it this month. I'm so excited, you know, this is one of probably my most anticipated release for this year. I love Courtney Summers so much. <laughs> She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now. I've loved Sadie and the project for Courtney Summers, which I've read, so I am so excited to get to this. Courtney Summers has pitched this as being inspired by the Jeffrey Epstein case. Following three girls, one girl is murdered, she's 13, and this other girl and the girl who's been murdered sister team up to try and figure out what's going on and I think, you know, it's a story about power, about money, about control. I'm just really excited to enter the world of Courtney Summers again. I'm ready for my heart to be broken. It's very nerve-wracking. I feel pretty sick thinking about it, but I am really excited to enter this world again and to just fall in love with this book. Even the font, the Courtney Summers font, like looking at that, stirs up a feeling in me. I don't think you understand. Like, <laughs> it makes me feel a certain kind of way. So yeah, I have no doubt I'm probably gonna give this five stars. I already feel like that. Like, if this isn't five stars, there's been a shift in the world's balance. Do you know what I mean? That's generally how I feel. So very, very excited to read this. I absolutely can't wait and we will see what I think of it. So there we have it. Oh my God, the books are sliding around, but that is my TBR for August. I want you guys to start getting excited because I've got some really exciting videos coming this month. I'm just, I just can't wait. But I feel like there's a lot of good picks in here, a lot of good variation. So I am so excited. If you got into the end, what should we comment? Or oh, comment the dragon emoji. Comment the dragon emoji for Dragon Republic. Comment that if you got to the end. Thank you guys so much as always for watching and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye.